Hello, y'all. So we're back with Season 2, Episode 2 of The Housewives of Dubai. Um, I've gotten the Dargon retain a little bit more with this episode, so we ain't got to worry about the stress of... Um, yeah, we ain't got to worry about the stress of the commercials and shit because I can naturally know most of this off of the top of my head. I'm looking at this intro though to get everybody's names again. I'm, I got Ion's name down pat. It's the it's the white chicks that's confusing me. Okay, that's Sarah. Caroline is the one that I'm about to work for, honey. Then we got Lessa. Nina. Okay, Nina. And then Caroline again. See, once again, why did they feel like to just put Caroline in the in Like, if you got two Carolines on the show, why not they're going to say a Carolina S, Caroline, a such and such? And they end up saying her name, but, uh, you know, I end up forgetting the shit. So, for here on out, until we learn the nicknames for the white Caroline, we're going to say Caroline White. And for the black Caroline, we're going to say uh, Caroline Black, honey. So Sarah is trying to teach her darn on Middle Eastern child how to eat the traditional way. He was like, bitch, uh-uh. Get me at the table because in her culture, they sit on the mat and they eat the darn on food with their fingers. It's like, bitch, we no longer in primitive times, honey. It's like, yeah, we, we going to use the fork and, you know, the spoon and shit. You you can sit there by yourself. Now, I do uh, commend, on, commend her or at least still trying to instill the culture or whatnot. At least the language. It's like if nothing else, he does need to maintain that language. Because a lot of people become Americanized and then lose their language. Even indigenous people um do not speak their languages like Cherokee don't is a dead language essentially. Darn going I can't even think of any other indigenous languages because nobody speaks it. It's almost like Latin. Latin is a dead language. And sadly, it seemed like the Middle East is starting to become a, a dead language unless you live there. I know somebody fits in to say, well, Juan, Dubai is the Middle East. Uh, but for what they darn going to point it out to us, this is very terrorism. I mean, ooh, not terrorism, but uh, Taurus. That's the two word I'm looking for. Oh, Lord, not terror. Oh, child, let me rebuke that, honey. I ain't, not, I ain't calling the folks terrorists. Uh, I, I was trying to use the word tourism, honey. It's a tourist city, so they say the, they people only represent 12% of the darn on population, child. But that is that. Everybody is essentially getting ready for darn on uh, Thanksgiving um, time. Ion is on the fence about the Thanksgiving because she's like, well, you know, being from Africa and, learn, and knowing and learning about the true history of what Thanksgiving is, it's like, why in the hell would any black person be celebrating Thanksgiving? And it's they're going pretty much the history is the colonizer coming over and taking something that didn't belong to them. I was like, yeah, she 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 has a point. She has a point. But moving on, child. Okay, so we get our two beautiful brown skinned sisters uh meeting up, honey. Oh, not that she don't know what darn on ethnic background she is, honey. Honey, she said now one day she could she done said to the other darn on uh black chick, honey. And I wanna say that's it's Caroline. That one day she's darn on Jamaican, one day she's Afro Latina, one day she's darn on American. And it's like, girl, pick a motherfucking culture, girl, pick a culture. And then old girl's darn on uh, ring shopping with her darn on man. Then we got the two Middle Eastern chicks darn on sitting down. Then we also had a scene with uh, 
child, let me just say, Ion, girl, you is just going to keep that modelistic dark. I mean, child, like I said, Naomi Campbell, who, girl, she put Naomi Campbell down with this dark on looks, honey. She done came in with this motherfucking fur and the motherfucking uh, platinum blonde wig just to sit down. Now, I will say this to the other girls credit, the uh, the Middle Eastern chick that said, now, girl, pretty much it was a, like Buffy Purcell said, honey, darn on uh, rich, darn on yells, but wealth whispers. It's like, yeah, girl, just because you rich don't mean you got to show it. So why you darn on low key putting her down talking about she dressed basic? Honey, she probably got more money in the bank account than you do. So it's like, shh. <laughs> It's like, honey, she, think about it. The richest people in the world, we got Jeff Bezos. We got um, Bill Gates. We got Elon Musk. They all dress darn on simple, plain, but they are like the richest people in the world. They always alternate for that top spot. So it's like, yeah, you don't necessarily have to look like you a million bucks. Okay, now they darn going to try to figure out what darn going to trigger Ion, honey. Oh, girl. <laughs> Not that she's a life coach, child. I'm with Caroline. Just leave it be, honey. Don't, don't, don't try to fix nobody, honey. Just, just leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Okay, we got Lessa up in this darn old store grocery shopping. <laughs> By the time she get off the phone with one of the Middle Eastern chicks, honey. Oh boy, now they ate the cookies up. It's nice to see. Well, child, I guess Dubai is a, a little bit more expensive because did anybody else peak the amount that she paid? She paid like 1300 some odd. Um, whatever the currency is there. I forgot what they call it, but I, I went on to Google it turns out what she really ended up paying in dollars came up to like 300 some odd dollars. So I said, okay, that that does seem about on par with what um what a Thanksgiving dinner would be here in America, honey. So I was like, okay. Interesting how they separate the meats. She's talking about there's a certain part of the store that only non-Muslims can go into, so... This is very interesting learning about the shopping experiences of darn on Dubai, honey. Although how rich and bougie these girls be acting, I thought darn on she might have her maid. Because all of them got maids and shit. I'm thinking that shit. Um, Y'all ain't got darn on Instacart and DoorDash and shit down there? Honey, I would have thought she would have had somebody darn on go down there and do all the shopping and shit full. But yeah, she getting her darn on meats and stuff ready and okay. A jerk turkey? Who the hell? I don't know. Y'all know Thanksgiving ain't never really been my holiday, child. Um, Y'all tell me, this, this is new for me, honey. What is a jerk turkey? And then we got the other ones on the boat, honey, just chilling. We got our two Middle Eastern sisters darn on. Talking it out on the boat. Ion finally goes to the house of one of the girls. And, hell, I thought that was her natural hair for a moment. Because you know she's Middle Eastern. And I think last week I accidentally said she was darn on each... 
I normally don't talk about the commercials, but Chloe. Girl, why am I seeing a Nortec commercial <laughs> with Chloe Darling on Kardashian and her baby? It's like these hoes just promote any damn thing. God damn, bitch, sit the fuck down. And Dargo don't do not nothing else to your face. I swear, she look if she does anything else to her face, she gonna look like one of those. Y'all remember those twins? The you know that had all that work done and that recently died. She gonna end up looking like that if she don't quit. That or motherfucking John Rivers. But anyways, yeah, old girl ends up um sitting down with her and Dargo chatting. I thought that was her hair because, like I said, you know how the Middle Eastern, um, the East Africans and stuff be looking with the hair, Etrians, Ethiopian. Turns out she's Sadatsi. At least I want to say she's Sadatsi. No, she's not Sadatsi. Damn, I got it wrong again. She's uh, Somalian because she says she's from Somalia. So whatever the people's names are from Somalia... Um, that's what she is. And then we got some flashback pictures. I was like, oh, okay, there we go. We we see that good grade of 4D, 4C darn on Kinky Corley. So it's like, okay, she's in the darn on Type 4 family. And also, I'm trying to think of what, now, because they say it gets real hot in Dubai. But she looks a little bit lighter and she don't strike me as the, you know, the skin bleaching type or whatnot. And and she don't have the bleach look. I'm thinking maybe because she ain't as close to the darn going, um, the hemisphere or whatnot. Because that does play a part in the depth of how much you tan and whatnot. And one can say, okay, she's also now super rich and famous. She's no longer outside in the low income pop because she grew up in poverty stricken Africa so it's like she no longer in that type of area so she ain't exposed to the sun as much she probably also utilizing SPS and stuff but she used to be essentially dark like she was like Lapita Nyong'o dark and now on the screen she looks like she about my darn on complexion shades so she done jumped up quite a few shades but like I said you know other factors can play a part into that you know, as you get older, you actually start to lose melanin in your skin. Your, your skin starts to uh, produce a little bit less collagen and melanin over time. And then in conjunction with, you know, less sun exposure, using more sunscreens and, you know, no longer being subject to hyperpigmentation like that. You know, all of that can play a part. But that is basically that. Oh, we finally find out what somebody does. One of the darn going, um... Husbands, okay, we we got to go over the job. We're going to skip past the jobs. Because I care not to even rewind to that point. He had some sort of fancy bougie job. Oh, another thing that was uh, unique seeing this. Uh, with all the houses that she went to, Ayan brought a gift. Because in African culture, and see, I am loving this right here. So, we are learning about the customs, the slight, like with Caroline. We learn about the slang terms used in Darn Going um, in Britain. And then with Ion, we learning about the little culture stuff, such as like every time you come to a house, you give something. Because she went up, she ended up going to the Darn Going folks' house at the end, one of the black girls' houses, right? And she ends up giving them a whole goat. <laughs> they done lost the damn goat. The goat done, before the goat got gone through the gate, Honey, the goat done a uh, almost drowned child. The goat done a drowned and, and everything, honey. I said, oh my goodness. <laughs> and then you are gonna send it to a Jamaican house at that. And she was like, girl, do you not know this goat liable to be darn on uh, uh, <laughs> chopped up darn on curry goat, honey, at the end? Child, a darn on goat probably darn on peep game and knew that she was... <laughs> He looked over there and seen them Jamaican roots and her was like, oh no, bitch. Mm -mm. <laughs> Damn, honey, that darn old goat got gone, child. Done took a dip in the pool and darn old Sasha right on out the darn old door. Honey, she did that, though. She darn old did all of that dinner and shit. 
and didn't have not one darn on made. Okay, come on through, still darn on ripping your root. Oh, her name is Lessa. So I can stop saying the black girl, honey. But Lessa is the one where, honey, she's a little bit of everything. She's darn on Afro Latina. She's darn on Jamaican. She's a second generation American, I believe, as well. And then, of course, the, both of them got, um, you know, beautiful, darn on white husbands, honey. I'm trying to peep the ages, honey. Now, we got an idea that Ion is about 40 because when she was crying and, you know, when she was at old girl's house, which she actually ended up giving her onions, I was like, well, damn, this one ends up getting a whole livestock and you, you just give this bitch who's your best friend some onions. But one can say, you know, different days. It's like, you know, I'm sure she ain't giving them extravagant, lavish gifts every day. And, you know, this was Thanksgiving time. So she went all out with this darn gonna gift with the goat, honey. But yeah, y'all, that was basically the darn gonna episode, y'all. So we had darn going on the children all mingling and stuff together, and everybody's having a Thanksgiving. We basically got to see how each culture has Thanksgiving dinner from. Somebody who's Afro-Latina, Jamaican-American, who was born, I want to say, in the northern side of the U.S. Uh, because she don't have a southern accent. With a white man who... Her white man, her white man looks like he's a little bit swirlish, almost like Caroline's Dargon white man. So, yeah, that... Yeah, that's a very interesting dynamic. And then, you know, Ion. Ion is just straight up darn going 100% Samolian. Speaks four languages. And then she got her white man who is... Because I think she was brought up in the UK as well. Um, from 18 on up. So she met her husband in the UK. So interesting dynamic. We seeing, you know, how... People from America, people from Britain, people from Africa, people from the Caribbean all have managed to Dargon resettle and live the Dargon fabulous life in Dargon Dubai. Because we finding out that none of these girls, because I thought they Dargon had some sort of wealthy parents, but this is another interesting dynamic. Ion grew up from humble beginnings. Lessa, I want to say, grew up from humble beginnings. Caroline, um, the black Caroline, grew up from humble beginnings. I'm not quite sure about the white Caroline. Um, let me see. And I want to say Sarah also grew up from humble beginnings as well, being in the Middle Eastern culture. Oh, and then we seen one of them was having um, issues with um, with the baby daddy drama. I was like, come on through. We finally seen some baby daddy drama outside of the black community, honey. So even our brown skin sisters be going through the bullshit too. Oh, I think that was the one that was trying to teach the baby. Um, I think that was Sarah who was trying to teach her baby the Arabic culture. She's the one that is basically raising the uh, child up on her own. And the, it seemed like the father is somewhat there as far as... he He's a phone call dad. You know, he don't really pop up to events and shit. He, they ain't got no split custody. It seems like she got the full custody and he comes around doing maybe holidays and some shit. Um, because in his culture, she was talking about that they don't even believe in the men doing any type of stuff like cook because she was trying to teach the boy also how to cook and shit. He has a passion for cooking. But, um, yeah, in their culture, the men don't supposed to do any of that. Um, but the father seemed like he, he wasn't trying to be misogynistic on the phone because he was like, okay, the boy can teach him how to do some cooking. No, knowing damn well, honey, you can't teach an old dog how to get out of darn on old habits, honey. But, yeah, like I said, this is interesting, y'all. 
So that is episode two of Darn Going On, um, The Real Housewives of Dubai. What are y'all thoughts? Leave it down below. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see y'all soon with more videos.